Hello and welcome back to another time-lapse art video. Today you'll see me working on another piece for the brilliant guys from the Authors and Dragons podcast. Um, clearly they are a group of authors, hence the name, um, that play a bunch of D&D. Um, and I was asked to um, uh, collaborate with another artist. Uh, his name is JLD. Uh, definitely look him up on Instagram, by the way. I think it is at JLD Art. Um, anyway, I was asked to work together with him uh, where he would do the line work and I would do the coloring. Um, and today the character in question is Gigi. It is a character from one of their uh, bit older campaigns, um, but there is still some fun stuff going on there. Um, and one of the things that I really, really enjoyed um, while I was working on this one uh, was partly it was done uh, in a live stream um, which, you know, patrons had access to on Discord. Um, but the other thing was working on this building you see in the background. Um, now, I am I'm pretty used to working with um, uh, different color tones when it comes to light and dark, so, so lights and shades. Um, however, what I did here, because it was going to be a, a bit of an eerie image, like she's dancing around in a graveyard or something like that, um, I decided to go with a cold and warm contrast. So I picked up these earthly blues and mixed them with these Bordeaux reds. And for some reason, just looking back at this, um, I think the contrast worked so well and it really gave off this spooky vibe to, you know, the, the, the building in the background. Um, and, with, you know, with the lights on and the god rays coming out. Um, th this really was one of the parts that I was actually very, very proud of. Um, now, the thing... I learned from you know working on these um, these color work only things is as an artist it is so easy to become so comfortable within your own sort of style like I, I could never have drawn this this is 100% not my style and I love I absolutely adore JLD's style he's got this very comic uh, comic kind of style um, um very you know hard lines um, uh, very even deeper shadows than what I usually work with um, but you can tell by the way this is drawn, it is usually not colored in the style that I would work in. Um, so one of the challenges for uh, these illustrations that I've been working on, because there are six in total actually, um, one of the challenges was how can I make my style fit within the style of you know these line drawings? Because uh, I mean I I am very much a matte painter. I I don't work with um, you know, very hard line reflections. My reflections are there and I work a lot with highlights and, and like low lights. But it's all very blended, it's all very soft, um, uh, like the, the edge is off of it. Um, so how can I make that, you know, work together with these very hard edged um, characters, uh, these very hard edged line arts. Um, so it, it really was sort of um, uh, a quest for, <laughs> oh, I was going to say a quest for competence because that's the name of the campaign, but that's definitely not the case here. Um, and I, I, it was a quest, you know, to find out how I could make my style fit together with the style of a different artist. Um, and actually that was, that was a lot of fun because, you know, even while live streaming, people would comment on, you know, oh, maybe you should change it, change this and maybe, you know, uh, pick up the brightness on those colors there. And which you see like in, here in the skull, um, it's going to be like a green flame, like what you would really uh, pick up as this necromancer skull, you know, the green, there's going to be glow. It's going to be very neon. Um, so it was really looking for, okay, how do you combine this matte painting with uh, the brightness and the intensity of like a comic character? Um, but we got there eventually, which which was really cool. It was, this was once again one of those images where it was really cool to see things come together. Um, and I think that it, it came out very, very nicely. <clears throat> And this was one of the things, by the way, this was very cool. I, I use white here. <laughs> and um, this is, in my, my own images, white is really, really not how it works. <laughs> um, so this was, this was one of those moments where I had a little voice in the back of my head saying, are you sure you want to pick up that white? And I was like, yeah, I got it. I really got it. Because, you know, it, you see now, like, even when you blend it out, the white is still there. Um, but because it's so so soft and so blended, it, it kind of ties into this, this particular style of mine. 
Um, which is, you know, like I said before, this was the journey of finding how can I make my style blend together with JLD's style. And this is pretty much how it works. You pick up white and you blend it. <laughs> like blending is the key word. For me as an artist, there's there, if, if there's one way to describe what I do, <laughs> it is blending. A lot of it. Uh, and again, you see here, like all the highlights are just white. Very white. Um, but yeah, Gigi is a fun character. Um, uh, as far as I understood, she used this this French necromancer. She had like this weird accent, uh, which I totally just butchered, by the way. <laughs> but who cares? Uh, I'm the artist. I'm allowed to butcher accents because I mean I'm Dutch. What what can I say? I have this weird accent all by myself. Um, but anyway, all shits and giggles aside, um, um, Gigi was you know the French necromancer, and she would be dressed in these tight leather suits like this. Um, very bright colored, you know, purple. She's got this fiery hair because obviously she's a tiefling. Um, it just also reminded me uh, this would be a great character design for your characters in uh, Baldur's Gate 3, by the way. Um, I, I kind of love tieflings. I, I have a thing for them. I actually played my BG3 campaign with a tiefling, so um, yeah, hence my love for GG. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, as you can see, she's got these amazing bright colors going on and um, that was also one of the things that really helped pull her to the foreground of this image because the back was done in, in this um, cold warm contrast um, with the deep blue and the Bordeaux reds and she's gonna be like pink and purple so and along with the green like there is no way there's no way you're gonna look at this image and not see her which was exactly what we were what we were going for um, um, there is this I don't know, there's this playfulness in her colors, even though she is on a graveyard, and even though she's like playing with the dead. Um, so ultimately, all these things um, kind of work to, to define her character, which was just amazing to see. Um, anyway, that's all I got for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to leave a like and comment down below.